So today I'm going to be talking about GarageBand. Um, I get a lot of beginners sort of asking me how to use GarageBand, how to record with GarageBand, what like equipment you need to use to start recording. I also get a lot of people asking me about um, how I use GarageBand as a guitar amplifier and sort of use it to record my videos and things like that. So I'm going to obviously go through all my setup and settings and things like that. So. I'm going to unplug the camera and quickly show you my setup. Okay, so this is my setup. Obviously, there's my MacBook. I've got a Scarlett Focusrite interface. Um, I normally use this channel for recording videos, etc. Um, if I sometimes record in tracks, I'll use that for guitar and I use that for bass so I know the levels are sort of set correctly. Um, for effects, I use always use my ME70. Um, basically, I set the garage band to sort of just clean, so I get my clean sound from there. My, it's basically my amp sound and all the effects I do through the Boss ME70. Um, I also use an external hard drive. Um, I record all the projects to the external hard drive. Personally. I always think this frees up the processor on the computer so it runs a little bit better, you've got less chance of um, it overloading and freezing up and things like that but I may be wrong but that's how I do it. Um, so first thing you want to do for the total beginner is you've got an interface, USB lead into the back, straight into the MacBook or Mac. So, okay, I'm going to switch over to an on screen recorder now so it'll make it a little bit easier for explaining. So, I'll switch back to this camera just when I show you how to set the levels on your interface. Okay, so now we're on to garage bands. You've got your focus right interface plugged in. What you want to do now is go up to garage band in the corner there, preferences. It normally comes up with general, so go over to audio MIDI. Um, output device, obviously I want to use the MacBook speakers, so I'll make sure it's clicked into built-in output. Uh, input, just make sure it's on your interface. So for example, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett, so click onto that. And that should be your interface plugged in. Right, so now you've got your interface plugged in, you want to set your guitar up. So you open a new channel, um, click on audio, connect to guitar, input one. I want to hear my instrument and play record, click on that. So you hear your sound for the built-in input. Okay, so input one. Right, so let's create. So that's your um, default guitar so I'm using the brick clean setup um, you can obviously change all these different preset settings in there it's clean guitar there's crunch guitar distorted guitar but for now I'm just gonna stick with this Britain clean so make sure this is on this is your monitor if you've got that turned off you won't be able to hear your guitar so that basically turns your guitar on on the interface right so next interface Okay, so next, this, this is the interface. You can hear the guitar. Now, the focus right ones are pretty good, so you know you want this in the green. If it goes into the red, you know it's clipping. So you always want to make sure that's in the green. Right, so I'm on Brick Clean. Um, you've got all these different effects down here. This might be hidden, so what you normally see is this. Make sure you go into Track. Um, and this is all your presets for that channel in particular. So you've got noise gate, pedal board, amp designer, EQ, compressor. You can also add other things in there. There's like all this sort of stuff down here, right? But what we're going to do for now is go on to my preset. And this is exactly how I um, use GarageBand. So basically, all I've got turned on is if all these are off all I'm using is amp designer and a channel EQ so if I click on to amp designer this is my settings so I have the gain about one o'clock 
the bass mid treble all about two o'clock treble just a little bit more um, I've got reverb off all these sort of effects turned off of the presence the presence about two o'clock and the master about two o'clock and I used a 57 dynamic mic which is sort of a emulator actually that should be over there a bit more um, an emulator of the Shaw uh, SM57 and this is obviously supposed to be a Vox AC30 so I use British combo, British amp, uh, 2x12 output volume 0 so that is basically my settings um, and all I use then is the EQ so I like a 1k boost so I'll have the gain at about 6.5 and this one, which I can't remember what it's called, on about 6.2. So the, and then, then I like a bass roll off. So my settings for that are uh, frequency is 35, slope 48, Q 71. So that is basically my EQing. So you get a nice crisp sound that'll just cut through on that 1000 free on, on that 1k frequency, which is sort of best for guitars I think. You don't need all these frequencies, they're not heard, so just ditch all them and that's basically how I set my guitar up. And I've got my... Right, and also when you're recording, if you've got multiple tracks, if you're using this and say you've got three more guitars here, make sure all these other monitors are turned off. Just only use the one that you're on. sure you're never going to this red if you're going into the red obviously turn your input down on your interface or you can actually do this volume down a little bit as well so okay so like I said before I like using my effects pedal so basically I'll get all my reverb compressor distortion all of my effects are through this so I will not use any effects on there obviously all the reverb and everything's turned off so that's basically my setup. So now I'm going to open another uh, track and just show you how I record. So let me go into this demo. I don't want to save that in a minute, so skip that. <clears throat> so this channel is basically set up exactly the same as I just showed you. Um, this is stuff I've done with the uh, Garage Band built in drummer. That's a great little feature. Um, I'll quickly show you how to use that. Um, these are just some other tracks that I recorded to it. So I've got my bass guitar, then uh, a couple of rhythm guitars, heavy, uh, clean rhythm, and just some little overdubs. So I've panned stuff around left, right, and all that sort of thing. So, you know, you get a nice full sound. Right, so this is. So I want to add a little lead bit to that, a little lead fill. Monitor's on, so we hit record, it'll click four times and then the first bar will come in. Okay, so there we go, that's a uh, uh, record. So if you want it louder in the mix, adjust the volume there, uh, turn it left or right. So yeah, that's basically how you record. All right, so okay, if you wanna change the drums, what you do, hit a new drummer, open this all the way up, slide it along, make sure you set the tempo to the track first. So say 125 beats a minute, this will always beat at that. So you need to work your way around that after. So always set the drums first. Um, so yeah, press the yellow button, that'll mute F now so you just hear this track. So it's just a hi-hat in a minute. So then you can add in kick drum, snare drum. And then you can make it louder or quieter. Simple 
or more complex. You can change it to the hi hat tempo so you can get sort of double time. Change this kick and snare. You can also change the fills. You can add on the tambourine. Again, change the rate on that. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want to do a different section, so say one part, you want it to sort of like a hi hat to start. Select where you want. Say just the first four bars you want just as a hi hat. So you select that. Press Command T. That will split that. Go highlight this first one. So you just deactivate all that. Turn the percussion off. So you've just got the hi hat. So you just want a simple single double time hi hat. That will be this. And then if you want the next part to be as sort of I had it before, you know, sort of loud, uh, clean puts crash cymbals in. Maybe like that. And again, if you're going back to sort of a verse, just split that, can command T, and then change that again. So basically, that is garage band. That's how I use it. Um, I think I've sort of covered the basics. Uh, obviously, if uh, I wanted to save this track as an MP3, or well, to save it as a project, just click Save As, and that will save the project as it is. I'd like to save it to the hard, that hard drive I was on about. So next time you open it up, it'll all play for the external hard drive. So if you wanna, um, if you wanna export this track as an MP3, so you make sure Effin's sort of Nothing's muted. Make sure everything's open. Uh, click share. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, share export song to disk. So, so I want it on the desktop. Uh, just put in the demo YouTube title. Then you want it as a MP3. Put it as the highest quality if you like, 256, and then just export. And that'll export all them settings, all that as the as a whole track. So okay, so there you go. That's basically how I sort of use GarageBand for recordings. Um, quick setup, you know, for beginners. So I hope that helped some people out. Um, I hope I covered everything. Any questions? If you got more stuff I never covered on GarageBand or any questions about GarageBand in general, put it in the comments below. Um, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, like the video, please subscribe to my channel. It's come up to the 20th of February, so I'm trying to hit that thousand sub deadline. So please sub me if you can. Um, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Rob the Meat Manifesto. Um, head over to spreadshirt.co.uk forward slash the Meat Manifesto. I've got loads of merch on there. Um, there's also some discount codes at the minute for free shipping, so I'll put that in the comments below um, but yeah thanks for watching have a nice day look at motherfucking animal